Hey everyone, welcome back to another Sim Hub video. Um, I when I created the LED profile for the Gomez Sim Industries Formula Pro Elite, um, a lot of people liked it, got some really good feedback, and a probably just as many um, didn't like the fact that I was using the outer three LEDs on each side of that 16 LED matrix that we have there. It's not a matrix, I know, um, for spotter and flags and whatnot, um, using the inner 10 LEDs to match the the RPM lights of the car in iRacing. Uh, a number of you reached out to me and said, hey, can we just have all 16 be the RPM range? And you know what the beauty of SimHub is we can do that. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to walk you through how to build it. I'll post a link uh, to the Google Drive where you can get it in the description below. And if you're in the GSI Discord, I'm also going to post it in the SimHub channel there. So no need to click. You'll probably have already seen it in the GSI Discord before this video gets published anyway. Um, and of course, as always, because SimHub is sort of open source, uh, any profile I create, feel free to modify it and share it and send me your profiles and dashes and everything. I love seeing what people have created, um, whether it's from watching one of my tutorials or somebody else's. Um, it's always really cool because seeing your work inspires me to kind of keep pushing my dashboards to that next level. So let's go ahead and get into sim hub here you can see right now i'm on the arduino screen and the rgb led menu We've got the gsi fpe profile loaded so what we're going to do is we're going to click profile manager we're going to create a new profile and we're just going to call this 16 led rp m's uh, let's make that a lowercase s because it looks cleaner and this will work, of course, for any set of LEDs, as long as there's 16. If you want to add more or take away, you can modify it. Of course, that is entirely your call. All right, so here we are. We've got our new profile created. Uh, we're just going to leave the brightness at 20%. Let's add an effect. Okay, so we want to go all the way down here, and we want to find the custom formula gradient. We're going to add that. We're going to open this up. And now what I want to do is I want to have the first eight. So 50% of the total LEDs available to us turn green for the first 60% of the car's RPM. And the other thing I want is I don't want them on when the car is at idle. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to value formula. We're going to hit edit. And this is where we need to remember our NCALC formulas. And we're just going to type in RPMs. Whoops. Typed in one too many letters. We want to scroll up and we want to go current displayed RPM percent. The reason we want percent in this case and not the actual RPM, because we want this to work for every car across the board without fail. So we're going to use a percentage of max RPMs for this profile to keep it simple. And in this case, we want the first green light to come on at 25%. And we want the last one to come on at 60%. And we want this to go from... Oh, green to green. There we go. Now we want to do the next four and then the final four after that. Now, the cool thing is because we've got all of this set here, all we have to do is kind of come right up here where we see our custom formula gradient. And we're going to name this LED one through eight. We're going to, whoops, I clicked a button there. We're going to go back to our Arduino screen. And we're going to click this clone effect button right here. And now we've got an exact copy, but we want to name this one LED 9 through 12. So our next four LEDs. I can't type today. I'm sorry. We want this first one to come on at LED 9. Oops, and it's going to be for four LEDs. I remember to do that. Now this is going to be yellow. And we want this to start at 61%. And we want this to finish the last one at 75%. Okay. Now we want to do the last ones. We're going to close this one. We're going to close this one. We're going to clone this effect one more time. We're going to call this one LED... 13 through 16. And you know what? I want to get rid of this copy at the end. I forgot to do that up here. 
There we go. Okay, so now these are going to start at LED 13. It's going to go for four. And you see each time I added, SimHub added another black square up here to indicate a new LED. So now it's showing all 16 LEDs. We want this one to be red. And again, we want this one to be red. We want this one to start at 76% for the first one. And we want it to end at 100%. And there we go. So that's going to cover our 16 LEDs for RPM. I want to add one more effect. And I want to add a pit limiter. We can do a red line reached. Um, that might actually be a good one to have. Let's do that first. We're going to add red line reached. Uh, we're going to start it at one and we're going to have it go for all 16 leds and we want this to i don't know let's come up with a, a different color let's go blue let's make it blinking and we'll add the blink delay let's make it a little let's go 200 milliseconds for our blink delay um, so that'll cover red line and then we want to add one more effect speed limiter on um, I know it's a little weird. It should, you would expect it to see pit limiter, but it's actually speed limiter. Uh, we want to have speed limiter on, start position 1, again, end position 16. And for our pit limiter, I'm a big fan of the purple color in the M4 GT3. I like the way it looks. I've got a, um external dash, a grid engineering one that has, and just it looks cool. So I'm going purple. I like it. Um, and then for pit limiter, we're going to have this flash again around 250 milliseconds. You can set this blink delay to whatever is, is comfortable to your eyes. You can set it fast enough to where it almost looks solid. Um, but there you go. We'll go ahead and leave it at that. So that's it. That is very quick, very simple. We now have an LED profile for any 16 LED setup. Um, this one is going to be or was built with the GSI FPE in mind, but again, it will work with uh, whatever. So if this video helped you in any way, shape or form. Please uh, give it a thumbs up so more people can find it. Um, leave a comment below. Um, I'm still looking for some more ideas. I think what I might actually do here um, is I'm going to offer up. In fact, if you made it all the way to the end of this video and you want a custom dashboard of your own, uh, put a put a little message down below there in the in the comments, and uh, I'll reach out to you and we will uh, talk about maybe doing some custom viewer dashboards. Um, I can make a video on how I created each one. Uh, post them up this way. If you are really unfamiliar with SimHub, uh, I will walk you through how I created a dashboard for you specifically. And then we, then you'll know how to edit it if something goes wrong or if you want to make some changes. So yeah. So I will leave you all with that. Thank you very much for hanging out with me in this short video today, and I will see you next time.